100 Most Beautiful Words. Loquacious, extremely talkative. I'm usually quiet until I drink alcohol, then I become loquacious. 17. Plethora, a very large amount of something. I have a plethora of music to choose from. 18. Delicacy, extreme care in handling something. She handled her baby brother with delicacy. Here's a list of the 100 most beautiful words in English. Of course, a list like this is subjective. What's beautiful to one person may be less so to another. But many people would agree that English is a beautiful language. It has a large variety of sounds and words that come from languages all over the globe. This is one reason why English language songs are so popular, even among people who don't speak English. They just like the sounds. So let's listen to some unusually lovely words. Are you ready? 1. Miraculous. Having the quality of miracles of nature or of someone who has the ability to create miracles. Her miraculous recovery shocked the entire hospital. 2. Aurora. Natural streams of light in the sky. Seeing the Aurora Borealis in person one day is on my bucket list. 3. Euphoria. An intense feeling of happiness and well-being. You are the cause of my euphoria. 4. Serendipity. A chance occurrence leading to happiness. I hope serendipity will lead me to the right place. 5. Cherish. Protect and care for something or someone lovingly. I will forever cherish this bracelet. 6. Elixir. A liquid which has magical and or healing properties. I have invented an elixir which will give you immortality. 7. Eternity. A never-ending amount of time. I could do this for an eternity. 8. Love. An intense feeling of pleasure and interest. I have a deep love for music. 9. Solitude. A state of being alone. I'm an extrovert. Solitude just isn't for me. 10. Epiphany. A moment of sudden realization of something. When I was 11, I experienced an epiphany that not everyone gets treated the same. 11. Silhouette. The outline of something or someone standing in front of light. I saw a silhouette through my curtains. 12. Esthet. An individual who is appreciative and sensitive to beauty and art. He believes art critics are just a bunch of esthets. 13. Sequoia. An extremely tall redwood tree of California. I love forests that have sequoia trees. 14. Sibilance, a hissing sound created by a group of words. The phrase seven suspicious snakes creates a large amount of sibilance. 15. Tranquility, a very calm state. They closed their eyes and enjoyed the tranquility. 16. Loquacious. Extremely talkative. I'm usually quiet until I drink alcohol, then I become loquacious. 17. Plethora. A very large amount of something. I have a plethora of music to choose from. 18. Delicacy. Extreme care in handling something. 
She handled her baby brother with delicacy. 19. Blooming. Flourishing. After a dark period of time, she finally started blooming. 20. Pluviophile. A person who deeply enjoys the rain. I'm pretty sure I'm a pluviophile. I just love the rain. 21. Felicity. An intense feeling of happiness. I was filled with felicity when I passed my exam. 22. Clinomania. An intense desire to stay in bed. My daughter definitely has clinomania. She stays in bed all day. Galactic. Having to do with a galaxy or galaxies. Most of the stars in the galactic sphere are billions of years old. 24. Idyllic. Extremely happy, peaceful, or picturesque. My balcony has such an idyllic setting. 25. Incendiary. Likely to explode at any time, causing great controversy. I'm avoiding my sister because she's in an incendiary mood. 26. Akimbo. Placing hands on hips and elbows facing outwards. The head teacher walked in, arms akimbo, and yelled at our behavior. 27. Syzygy. Conjunction or opposition of the moon and sun. Syzygy of the earth, moon, and sun occurs during every single full moon. 28. Becoming. Increasing to a higher level. Emerging. The number of students not wearing the correct uniform is becoming a concern. 29. Conflate. Combine more than one thing together. In order to achieve a sunset sky, she conflated the colors. 30. Umbrella. A circular-shaped object made to protect individuals from the rain. My mother always reminds me to bring an umbrella in case it rains, but I never listen. 31. Nemesis. Another word for rival. She was extremely upset when she found out that her nemesis won the competition. 32. Panacea, a cure to a disease, a general solution to a set of problems. Sadly, there is no panacea that will make cancer disappear from your body. 33. Quintessential, most essential, most distinctive. Most people agree that watermelon is the quintessential fruit of the summer. 34. Penumbra, a shadow-like area. A penumbra covered the whole city after a blizzard. 35. Ethereal, extremely delicate and light. She claimed her sleeping baby had an ethereal appearance. 36. Vestigial, having lost its function over time. Penguins have vestigial wings since they can't use them to fly as they are too heavy. 37. Murmurous. Continuously sounding low and indistinct. The murmurous haunt of mosquitoes at night. 38. Lanyap. A small gift given as a sign of gratitude. Whoever made a large purchase would receive a lanyap as a thank you. 39. Bungalow. A single-story house with a covered front porch. My wife prefers to live in a bungalow since there are no stairs. 40. Ratatouille. A popular French dish consisting of various vegetables. My favorite dish is ratatouille. 41. Ripple. 
a small wave. We couldn't surf today since there were no big waves, just ripples. 42. Scintilla. A tiny amount of something. Just give me a scintilla of evidence and I'll believe you. 43. Glamour. Another word for beauty, luxurious beauty. The new girl in school is filled with glamour. 44. Lagoon. A shallow body of water separated from a larger body of water. The blue lagoon was filled with tropical fish that swam past the reef. 45. Lithe. Small and graceful in movement. With one lithe move, he swept her off her feet and they danced all night long. 46. A quiver. Physically trembling due to cold or fear. As soon as she went outside, her whole body was a quiver. 47. Mellifluous. Pleasing and musical to the ear. The sound he made with his guitar was just mellifluous. 48. Ineffable. Difficult to put into words. After being asked out by my crush, I was left in an ineffable mood. Hereth. A deep desire for something to happen. Longing. After six months of living in London, Jessica's hereath to go back home only grew. 50. Nefarious. Wicked or criminal. The evil queen is one of the most nefarious fairy tale characters. 51. Cromulent. Another word for adequate. I don't know why it's such a cromulent song. 52. Effervescent. Fizzy, bubbly. The Coke was so effervescent that its bubbles tickled my throat. 53. Sonder. A realization that everyone around you is living a complex life, just like you. As he gazed around the park, he was struck by a feeling of sonder. 54. Defenestration, the action of throwing someone out of a window. She was so mad at him for what he had done, all she could think about was defenestration. 55. Eloquence, speech having a beautiful or persuasive quality. The way she spoke was pure eloquence. 56. Velicor. The feeling of being surrounded by books you have no time to read. Whenever I pass by that bookstore, I get a strong sense of velicor. 57. Denouement. A clear ending to a film where all questions are answered. The movie ended with an unusual denouement, which left the audience completely speechless. Incandescent giving forth light caused by heat. I love how bright our incandescent Christmas lights make our home. 59. Ephemeral. Lasting for a very short period of time. It was the best day of my life. Too bad it was only ephemeral. 60. Oblivion. A state of being unaware of what is happening around you forgotten or unknown. The pay telephone has almost reached a state of oblivion. 61. Phosphenes, spots of light caused by applying pressure to the eye. Whenever I rub my eyes, I'm left with phosphenes for a while. 62. Luminescence, the emission of light caused by fluorescence and phosphorescence. The lights of the northern sky filled the landscape with luminescence. 63. Iridescent, having various luminous colors. Her iridescent bracelet shined brightly under the sunlight. 
64. Illicit. Against the law. Illegal. I broke up with my boyfriend because of his illicit drug addiction. 65. Bombinate. Buzz or hum. My vacuum cleaner usually bombinates. It's very annoying. 66. Limerence. A state of feeling romantic attraction for someone. Limerence is beyond just a simple crush. 67. Sonorous. Deep and full-voiced, rich-sounding. That singer doesn't even need a microphone. Their sonorous voice can fill up the entire arena. 68. Epoch. A long period of time. Riley knew an epoch began when he first laid eyes on the woman he wanted to marry. 69. Somnambulist. Someone who sleepwalks while they are in a deep sleep. I think my older sister is a somnambulist. Last night I heard her just randomly walk around. 70. Aesthetic. A pleasant and artful appearance of someone or something. Her aesthetic really suits her. 71. Sorcery. The use of black magic. The evil stepmother used sorcery to trap the princess. 72. Hullabaloo. A commotion or fuss. Today at work, there was a huge hullabaloo between a staff member and a client. 73. Lyrical. Imaginative and beautiful in expression. The way he expressed his emotions was almost lyrical. 74. Balletic. Graceful in movement. The way she danced was balletic. 75. Thunderous. Sounding like thunder. My teacher's yell was thunderous. 76. Euphonious. Pleasing to the ear. Listening to her talk is just so euphonious. 77. Ambivalence. Mixed feelings about something or someone. Even though the new house was closer to his job, Andy still felt ambivalence about moving. 78. Dissemble. Hide your true feelings and or beliefs. He planned to dissemble about his intentions to surprise his girlfriend with a birthday party. 79. Ebullience. Cheerfulness and energy. Dancing gives me such a great feeling of ebullience. 80. Photogenic. Always looking great in pictures. She looks perfect in every photo. I wish I was that photogenic. 81. Vigorous. Marked by physical strength and effort. The way he worked out was super vigorous. 82. Dulcet. Sweet and soothing in sound. The sounds her baby would make were so dulcet. 83. Gesticulate. Using gestures to emphasize your own words. Whenever he's passionate about something, he tends to gesticulate. 84. Saunter. Walk with a relaxed manner. While everyone was rushing to get to class, Jordan sauntered in casually. 85. Serene. Calm and peaceful. The sunrise this morning was serene. 86. Sumptuous. Luxurious and expensive looking. The china in the dining room was absolutely sumptuous. 87. Evanescence. The quality of vanishing quickly. The city in the distance seemed to have a kind of evanescence. 88. Cascade. A particularly small waterfall. 
the cascade of water was so beautiful to watch. 89. Succulent. Tender, juicy, and tasty. Just the thought of the succulent steak made my mouth water. Dusk. The darkest stage of twilight. We romantically walked along the beach at dusk. 91. Saccharin. Extremely sweet in taste. The cake was really saccharin. 92. Summary. Suitable for the summer. I've decided to wear something comfortable and summery. 93. Talisman. An object that is believed to have magical properties and bring good luck. My grandmother gifted me this talisman. I promised to always wear it. 94. Fetching. Another word for attractive. My goodness, you look fetching today. 95. Harbinger. A signal that something is going to happen. Clouds are a harbinger of an approaching storm. 96. Redolent. Having a strong smell. The perfume store is redolent with many fragrances. 97. Lassitude. A lack of physical and or mental energy. Lassitude is stopping me from getting out of bed. 98. Dalliance. A romantic or sexual relationship. Beverly loves the thought of love so much, she's continuously getting into one dalliance after another. 99. Tintinabulation. A sound which consists of ringing and or tinkling. My son tries his best to hear any tintinabulation during Christmas time. 100. Synthesize. To bring things together to make one product. We used a DC arc discharge to synthesize carbon nanotubes. There, you have 100 words in English that we thought were especially beautiful. Now, you're ready to start writing poetry in English.